I made it through no by April. Oh, it was so hard. It was so many products that I wanted to buy this month, but I didn't. It was hard, guys. It was so, so hard not buying makeup for a full month. Hey, everybody. Welcome, Andrew. Welcome back to my channel. It is your girl, J. Ross, back with another video. And welcome to the first video of May. Should be May. If things go as planned, this should be the first video of May. But I could be wrong. You know, let's just get started anyway. <laughs> Basically, for those of you who do not know, I did a no buy makeup April. I felt that I had so much makeup that I haven't used. I still have a lot of makeup that I haven't used. And I was trying to just focus on the products that I haven't used or that I have in general and try to numb those down. Um, April was also my spring cleaning makeup decluttering session as well. So I got rid of a lot of makeup. I still have the eyeshadow palettes to declutter. But y'all never said y'all wanted to see that, so I guess I don't have to do that, right? Uh. No, I do plan to do more decluttering videos maybe every season or something like that. I don't know. I just want to, like, keep refreshing my makeup collection. I definitely want to use what I have, but if it's old, it needs to go. But that's not what this video is about. This video is about what I missed out on buying in April that I'm... Pretty sure I'm gonna go pick up in May if it's still available, but there's definitely some things that released in April that I want you guys to know your girl only wants and she might be buying. So let's get started. Hip.x Reese's Collection. I'm a huge lover of Reese's. I love any candy bar that has chocolate and peanut butter. When I saw this collection, I was like, oh my gosh, I need that. And after I saw my Boo Malcolm review, at least the orange palette, I was like, I need this even more now. Like, I just need this. So I will link that down below so you guys can check out his review. Go support. We love supporting people over here in this channel. Yes, we do. Yeah, I, I will be getting my hands on it. I want the whole collection. I love the packaging. I love the whole vibe, the aesthetic, just everything literally screams Reese's and I'm here for it. Oh, another collaboration that I saw and I have to get it. Like if you guys see this in store, if you guys see the PR box or anything before I get my hands on it, please send it to me. I will pay you guys back. I need the Wet n Wild X Spongebob collection. I need that like three years ago. Like I need that. The sponges are adorable. The little sponge holder is his pineapple house. The highlighter is like the brushes, the the little like patty, like the Krabby Patty like brush cleaner or makeup utensil cleaner. All of this literally just says, Jay, you need this too because this is this is your life. SpongeBob was your life. I had the room, water cows, book bag, dog tag, I had hat, glove, Ooh, SpongeBob. I was getting it. Since we gonna talk about anti buys and this one too, that Tetris X Nix or Nix X Tetris. Who the freak was in the business room designing in that crap? Oh, brother, this guy stinks! Like, the box had me, like, the outside packaging, and then, and then once you open up the palette, I was like... <laughs> this whole palette was, like, just uncoordinated. I don't know who was like, yeah, let's just throw 85 shades in here that have nothing to really do with the Tetris, like, thing. Oh, never mind. You know what? We're going to do like random outlines of Tetris like blocks in there, but the shades aren't going to be anything related to like any type of Tetris. Same thing that I keep telling Ulta when they do these Marvel collaborations. These Marvel collaborations literally should say J. Ross needs to be in this room. That's what they need to be saying. Every meet, every time Disney or Marvel calls them and says, Ulta, we want to do another collaboration with you. Ulta needs to say, Is J. Ross going to be there? She's going to keep talking trash about us if she's not. Another item that I want is the one size. Turn up the base versatile powder foundation. I actually want to try this brand in general in May because I don't have any real problems with Patrick Star. I mean, I don't watch him. I don't follow him out like that, but like branding seems really nice. Like I do like the packaging as well as I've heard a lot of good things about the actual like products that people have tried. I have to realize that no, I'm not going to buy this. I want the whole collection for the packaging. I think the teddy bear theme is really cute. Too Faced plays it very safe when it comes to like shades. They kind of do like the neutral, natural, everyday. They rarely do bright, over the top, 
in your face, boom, vibrant shades. It's kind of always like, all right, another natural neutral palette, but it was cute packaging. But I just can't stand that every time they release a collection, it's always the lip injection. Too Faced, if you're listening or if you're watching, do some collections while the lip injection. I'm just saying, thank you. If you know me, I'm an eyeshadow lover and a foundation lover second, but eyeshadow is my favorite makeup product, like my absolute favorite makeup product. This is like a colorful one and it's really, really beautiful. This is the Lorac Cosmetics Artistry Book Chapter 2. Um, the Artistry Book Chapter 1, for those of you who know, was a very popular palette for their brand. Still beautiful, I would still love to get it. For some reason during the holidays or have a sale or whatever where they sell it as a bundle, I will probably get both, but I definitely want chapter two for sure. I think that would be a beautiful, colorful palette to add to my collection. The NYX Lip Lingerie Double XL Matte Liquid Lipstick. Knowing me, I might grab all the nudes, not the pinky pinky ones, but like all the nudes and then do a lip swatch video. I don't think I should, because that sounds dangerous. Next, you lost me on that Tetris collection, but these Lip Lingerie XL, Double XL, you might have me. The Huda Beauty Power Bullet Cream Glow. These look absolutely beautiful. I would be very intrigued to know what the cream feels like, and the packaging is so cute, and like if you grab a couple, it would just look beautiful on display. The colors look very beautiful. They actually have some deeper, darker shades. I'm actually intrigued in the Morphe 35D. I think it's called like Desert Flower. Desert Bouquet Artistry Palette. I like how they actually put something on the packaging instead of just the basic black. But I'm actually more intrigued into this palette than I have been in a Morphe palette in a while. Even the rainbow ones that they come out with. The last one I tried was the 9K Khaki Calling or calling khaki, whichever, I can't remember. That palette I wasn't too excited about, like, I just felt like, man, you guys love the look, but I took that palette back, like, after I did that look. I was not happy with it whatsoever. But this one, I'm actually intrigued, and I might pick it up. So, the Morphe Desert Bouquet, which is the 35D palette, I might pick it up. I get asked about, like, am I gonna try things from ColourPop a lot, and I really don't mess with ColourPop that much. Like, I was intrigued by the coming in hot, like, monochromatic, like, eyeshadow palettes. Especially the blue one, which is rumor has it. You guys know I love me a blue palette. But then it's like, it's ColourPop. So I knew it was duplicated shades from somewhere. And then I saw a picture that it's literally the nine, pay, nine pan palettes that were, like, the monochromatic ones. Were just four shades taken out. And I was like, see, this is why I don't mess with y'all that much. This is why. They need to work on something different. Just stop doing these release, 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 release. But everything is looking so much the same. And if you follow me on Instagram, then you know in my stories, I'm always talking about how ColourPop is literally just repackaging stuff that they've already done a thousand and one times. Have they had some things that I want to buy? Yes, solely for the packaging and the name of the collaboration. So the the child collaboration, the Mandalorian, the child collaboration, I want that because I love the Mandalorian. Sailor Moon, I love Sailor Moon. Liz McGuire, I love Liz McGuire, but they're the same palette. If ColourPop decides that they want to jump in the mix and do a SpongeBob collection, I will punch them in the face. So ColourPop, you've been warned. I love Disney, I love Pixar, I love Marvel, I love the Mandalorian, I, I can't say I love Star Wars, but like, so to speak, I love the Disney line of brands. But them doing a thousand one collaborations lately has been getting on my nerves. But these collaborations with iHeart Revolution, Makeup Revolution, Revolution Beauty, whatever, I don't care, are getting on my nerves. Stop collaborating with Revolution, Disney. Stop it. You messed up with the freaking Nightmare Before Christmas, and I'm so pissed off about that. Their Friends collection is trash. And I'm gonna say this up front and I don't care if y'all wanna fight me in the comments cause I'm ready to square up. Living single is better than friends, period. Fight me in the comments. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it there and I think that was a good video. I think we talked about enough things, especially because we haven't really talked about makeup in a minute. Um, cause I've been avoiding talking about it cause I don't wanna go sneak out and buy it. But I really did go with the no by April so I'm really proud of myself. Good job, Jay. It was really hard but your girl did it. I made it. Ah. 
felt that. Second of all, you know I'm vacillating here trying to- Let me know down below in the comments what you guys saw that you guys are intrigued about coming up in May or what you saw in April that you were intrigued about that you guys want me to try and review for you guys. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys wanna know what this look is, it should have been the last video. If it's not, I will leave the video to this look linked up above and at the end of the video as I always do. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Once again, I'm your girl, J Ross. Please like, share, and subscribe to this channel. I really do appreciate you guys. I really do love you guys. I love my J Crew, J Fam. I love you guys. You guys are just very uplifting people. Literally have been just giving me like uplifting and encouraging words i appreciate you guys so much you guys don't know how much that's helped me and hopefully soon in j talk i'll be able to talk about some situations that i've been going through and what's been happening in my life and all that stuff so yeah it's gonna be a lot coming up for you guys in terms of makeup and what i'm excited about doing with the j talk series and all that good stuff so i know it's been a while since i've done an antsy haul buy or buy and anything like that but if you guys want to see more of these every month please let me know that if you also want to know what i emptied or put a dent into or what became my favorite products over april during my no buy april please comment that down below and i want to get a video out for you guys and i think i've said enough so i'm gonna go ahead and sign out hope you guys are staying safe happy healthy and blessed and as always i hope to see you guys in my next one peace